What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Validate. This game is published and developed by Veritable Joy Studios. You can easily get 1,000 gamer score in about 10 minutes, but I gotta mention that does not include every achievement because the game has a total of 68 achievements five of which are worth 200 gamer score each and the other 63 are worth zero gamer score. So in this video, I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to get all 68 achievements. I'm just gonna show you guys how to get the five achievements that are worth 200 gamer score each totaling up for the full 1000 gamer score in this game. Now I will explain how to get the other 63 achievements that are worth zero gamer score, just in case you wanna spend the time getting those. But overall, this is a very easy 1000 gamer score. As I mentioned before, it's gonna take about 10 minutes. In terms of price though, it is $14.99. This is quite a long visual novel, so if you like visual novels and dating sims, you'll probably really enjoy this. If you're only in it for the 1000 gamer score, I'd definitely wait for a sell. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're gonna get all five achievements worth 200 gamer score in just about 10 minutes. All right, so first things first, you get an achievement after doing the intro with Malik. So we're going to select the first character, which is Malik. So just select Malik and then go to confirm. We're really only going to have to play through the game with two characters. And then we'll unlock the fourth character, which has the last achievement related to him. Now we're going to start up the game with Malik. And once the game starts up, simply press start and go to skip to intro ending. This is automatically going to skip through the intro. You don't even need to fast forward through it. And it's going to automatically unlock our first achievement worth 200 gamer score for meeting Malik. Next, we're going to end up in a fast food restaurant on our phone, and basically you're gonna run across different dates. I'd say each character has about six to seven dates, and I'll let you know right now, you cannot deny them, it doesn't even let you. And then luckily, this game does have a feature where you can press start, and you can automatically skip to the different endings. Basically, there's an achievement related to each of these endings. Most of the achievements are worth zero gamer score. But just know if you want to get all of them, you need to accept each date and get each of the three endings for those dates. So I started up the game with the first character, Malik. I accepted the first date. I pressed start and these are the three different endings for this date. Again, there's an achievement related to each of these. You get one for the good ending, the bad ending, and the rare ending. Now, I know you're probably thinking, I can use the save feature to go back and get each of these endings. But truth is, you don't even need to do that. After you finish the story, you're able to go back in your phone, go back to the different dates, and enter the dates again, which will allow you to simply press start and get the different ending. Now, I want to take a quick moment to explain how to get all the zero gamer score achievements just in case you're interested in that. So what I would advise is that you go through all the dates, fast forward to the good ending for each of the dates, get all the achievements for the good endings, and then go back through the game with that same character get all the bad endings, and then get all the rare endings, rather than having to make all these different save files. This is, of course, if you want all of the zero gamer score achievements. Otherwise, moving forward, I'm just going to show you guys how to get the achievements worth 200 gamer score each. Now, for the next 200 gamer score achievement, you want to skip to the good ending. Once you skip to the good ending, you're going to end up unlocking your next 200 gamer score achievement for getting the good ending with Yolanda as Malik. Now, I believe our next two achievements are going to be worth zero gamer score, but we have to accept the dates and get one of the endings to be able to advance through the story with Malik. So, go ahead and accept the next date, and what you want to do is press start once you get into the date, and we're going to skip to the good ending. We're going to do this with all the rest of the dates with Malik. Again, you need to accept the date, go into it. After that, press pause, and then skip to the good ending. Every time you get a different ending in this game, you're going to unlock a different achievement. Again, these next few are going to be worth zero gamer score, but ultimately our goal is to get to the final date with Malik, in which we actually have two endings with that last date that unlock 200 gamer score achievements. Okay, so on to the third date. Make sure you accept the third date. Once you get into it, press start, and then go to skip to good ending. This is going to unlock another achievement or trophy worth zero gamer score. After that, you can just press A or B to skip through all of these screens right here. And then eventually you're going to get back to your phone and you want to make sure to accept the next date with Isabel. Isabel has two 200 gamer score achievements related to her endings, one for the good ending and one for the bad ending. So what you want to do is load up her date, press start, 
go to skip to good ending. After that, you're going to unlock your next achievement worth 200 gamer score for getting the good ending with Isabel as Malik. After that, it's going to send you back to your phone. If you deny the next date, it's going to send you back to your previous dates and we can go back and select Isabel again. This time, once you get into her date, you need to press start and go to skip to the bad ending. This is going to unlock our next achievement worth 200 gamer score for getting the bad ending with Isabel as Malik. Now at this point, we have four of the five achievements that are worth 200 gamer score. Basically, we have 800 out of 1000. Now, the last achievement that's worth 200G is actually for meeting the fourth playable character, which is Amari. To unlock Amari, you need to complete the game with the first two characters. So you need to get to the end of Malik's story, and also the end of the second character, which is Anaya. To do this, you can simply just accept every date, press start, and skip to the good ending for every single date. So that's exactly what we're going to do for the rest of Malik's story. So just accept every date, skip to the good ending, and you're going to unlock the achievements related to all of the good endings for that character. Eventually, you're going to run out of dates and you'll end up in the outro. And what you need to do is press start and skip to the ending. After this, you'll finish up the game with whatever character you're playing with. After we get all the good endings for Malik, we'll finish his story. And then we're going to start up the story with the second character, which again is Anaya. And again, all we got to do is accept every single date, press pause, and skip to the good ending. We're going to do this for her story every single date. After we complete the story with Anaya, we'll end up unlocking the fourth playable character, which is Amari. All you gotta do is start up the game with Amari, skip through his intro, and you're going to unlock your final achievement worth 200 gamer score, giving you the full 1000G out of 1000G. However, as I mentioned, this does not include every single achievement in the game, only the ones worth gamer score. If you want all of the achievements that are worth 0G, you need to experience all the endings. Luckily, this is very easy because you don't have to figure out how to get to the endings. You can simply press start on the date and skip to whichever ending you want, whether it's the good ending, bad ending, rare ending, or some characters even have two rare endings. Just make sure you go back through each of the dates, experience all the endings to unlock all of the other achievements. But mostly, I just wanted to show you guys how to get the full 1000 gamer score in about 10 minutes. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, Kegger101, Kana25, GamertagNation.com, Rockmono44, and Fabio Novato. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.